Now the question 3A is the same as the other question we solved earlier okay. about the anchor. Yes, yeah, so we we'll skip that. So the B aspect is also a question on IAS 16. This time around calculation on the IAS 16. So let's see. It says the following details relate to two items of property, plant and equipment, A and B, owned by Delta, which are depreciated on straight line basis with no scrap value. So we see A and B, their estimated useful life are 8 and 6. Then we are seeing the cost on 1st April 2010. An accumulated depreciation for two years have been charged already. And so the carrying value as of 31st March 2012 has also been given respectively. Then on the on the 1st April 2012, which is the beginning of the year, they revalue the assets to 160 and what? 112. And then based on that, they revise the remaining useful life to 5 and what? 5. Then subsequent uh, expenditure capitalized on 1st April 2013 was nil for A, but 14,000 for B. They were told that at 31st March 2014, another year, item A was still in use, but B was sold on that day for what? 70 million. Note, data makes an annual transfer from each revaluation surplus to uh, retain earnings in respect of what? XX depreciation. Required. Prepare extract from I. Delta statement of financial uh, profit or loss for the year ended 31st, 2013 and 2014 in respect of charges, that is expenses relating to property, plant and equipment. Then II is the statement of financial position for the same period. So, what is your understanding here? How do we break it down? So this is student's fifth favorite, IAS 16. <laughs> <laughs> FR and CR students, they are epic. They are too, too, baby. That's the way we will hear the internet. America. Okay, so let's go. Delta. What do you think we have to do? What understanding have you built? We see the assets having a carrying value on uh, 31st March. So 31st March 2012, we're going to start from there. On 31st March 2012, now the carrying value of the assets have been given. So A and B, mm -hmm. 180. so thousands up, thousands up, 180,000 and then 80,000. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. Now, then on 1st April 2012, when is 1st April 2012? 1st April 2012. Will be the beginning of the current year. Yes. Are you getting yes. the idea? So, oh. Oh, so, like so current value 31st March 2012 are these. Then revalue the amount. Or we can say first value, first April 2012. Revaluation to an 160. 160. And then 112. And then 112. What are we seeing here? We are seeing a loss and a surplus. A loss and a surplus. So the difference will be so who is having a loss? The A is having a loss. The A is having a revaluation loss and B is having surplus. So we put it here. Revaluation profit uh, surplus and then loss will be in brackets. Okay? Mm -hmm. So this is having a loss yes. of 20,000 and this having a surplus of something like 32,000, I guess. 32,000. 32, so of the bet, now remember, from the question we are supposed to do for 2013. And then what? 2014. Yeah. But we are now at the start of 2012. Mm. So how should the loss be treated? And how should the gain be treated? The the gain the gain can go to other other comprehensive income. Mm -hmm. And then the loss, the loss can go to income. 
time statement. So it is written off yeah. straight up, isn't it? Yeah. Now, let's see what happened again. We were told that on that date, the useful life had changed to what? Five and five. five, and five. Then we were told that subsequent expenditure capitalized on 1st April 2013. When is 1st April 2013? 1st April 2013. Will you agree that is one year after this? Yes. So we need to calculate depreciation before we move that. We move, before we move on. So depreciation for the year ended 31st March 2013. This will be what? Five years. Five years. So sure. it will be 32. 160 divided by 5, 32,000. Yes. And this will be 112,000 divided by 5. And 22,400. 22,400. Remember, we started 2013, and that is our area of what? Focus. Mm -hmm. So now, by the closure of 2013, current value as of 31st March 2013 will be what? We are subtracting. 128,000. 128,000. 128,000. 89,600. 89,600. Does it make sense? Yeah. Now, be careful you don't forget a statement the examiner made. It says, note, Delta makes an annual transfer from River Legends of Loss to Retain earnings. Now, who had a gain? The gain was B. That says B. So it means for the year ended 31st March, since depreciation was calculated on the revalued amount, we have to make what? An annual transfer for that. Okay. Are you following the picture? So I'm going to do that one here. So the annual transfer for 31st March 2013 will be 32,000 divided by 5. And that gives us 6,400. 6, so it is this 6,400 that we are going to be debiting what? The revaluation surplus and crediting what? The retain earnings. Okay. You get a picture? So that is as at 31st March 2013. Mm -hmm. Then let's build it up again. It says subsequent expenditure capitalized on 1st April 2013. So when is 1st April 2013? And the same year, in the following, the following. So the beginning of the next year, I get the idea. So additional cost at first April 2014, none. But as B has is having what? 14, 400. Does it make sense? 40, yes, 14, 400. A is male. Yes. And then B is 14, 400. Yes. So what do we do then? We need to calculate. The depreciation. So restated amount. So carrying value at 1st April 2014 will be still this guy is going to be 128,000. But this guy will now be 104,123. So we need to then calculate the depreciation for what? This year. Yeah. Now there was a statement also that it says. At 31st March 2014, item A was still in use, but B was sold on that date. So at the end of the year, which is, so we need to get a depreciation before we deal with the disposal. Do you agree with me? Okay. Because the disposal is not at the start of the year, but it is at the end of the year. So on 31st March 2014, 31st March 8, I have to be careful with the date here. This is 1st April 13, rather. You know, it was 31st March 13, then 1st April, because the year started at 1st April. Yes. So on 31st March 2014, what is the depreciation? Remember the years 5, in the back of all, in the says here, yeah, the same amount to be charged. Do you agree with me? Yes. 32,000 for the eight. Yes. And I'm what? Say it's the same figure yes. on the straight line yes. method. Yes. So the same amount to be charged. Yes. But B, you know, says you are paying 104123. But one year quarter that it's a pay. Four years. Good. Give me. 26,000. 26,000. 
So one thing is that this additional cost, we were not giving any way to depreciate it. And until now, when they come up, then we depreciate it over what? The remaining life of the assets. So what then is now a carrying value as of 31st March 2014? Ninety six and seventy eight. Ninety six thousand. And then seventy eight. Seventy eight thousand. Are you following the concept yeah. more? Professional presentation is very, very important. So that's why I go this way so that we can present it in a single statement. We can present it in a single statement. So yes, I, I, I was thinking mm -hmm. uh, at the first March March A was still in use. The B was sold. On that, on date, that date for 70. So I was thinking that the two of us closing, we just like the. Yeah, I'll come to that. Oh, okay. I'll come to that. So this is the closing balances. Mm -hmm. But A is still you can use, B is being what? Sold. So we're going to be building it up there. So the disposal, which is the sale, B was sold for how much? 70, 70 million. 70 million, which is the same as 70,000. Mm -hmm. Are we working? Yeah, please answer. So, what's happening here? Loss on disposal. Another what? Is it profit or loss? Loss. Loss. Yes. So, we are making a loss of how much? It's a... And how will that loss be treated? The, you, you, the loss will go to other... Uh, the loss will go to uh, income statement. The income statement. Yes. Now, let's see what's happening here. Who are we doing the transfer on? Is it asset B? Yes. So we did this first transfer for the first one, 2013. Yes. We will do another transfer again for the first March 20 what? 14. Mm. And it will be the same amount of what? 6,400. But now that the asset is sold on that date, going forward, the amount left in the revaluation surplus, now how much will now be left in the revaluation surplus account as of 31st March 2014? We recognize 32,000 there, and we've taken 6,400 two times. Okay. I get you my picture, my point. So how much will be left in the revaluation of loss account as of that date? This uh, this process for two times. Right? Yes. So twelve eight hundred from this. Nineteen two. Nineteen thousand two hundred. Now remember, now you dispose of the assets. So this revaluation gain will be carried in the business as a non-distributable what reserves. Yeah. So from. Uh, 2014 going into 2015, the company will not do any transfer again. They will reclassify this amount as undistributable reserves. Mm. You get the concept? So now let's go to the financial statement and let's put what has to be brought together. So, let me just rule a line here. In our income statement, What do we bring? Now, in a columnar form, so 2013 and then 2014. So what do we bring? 2013. 2013. Yeah. We bring the depreciation. Yes. Isn't it? 32 and this. So we add the two. Okay. How do we get the idea? Oh, we are not adding, sorry. We need to bring them separately. But in any case, we do A and B. Oh, can we do A and B? Uh, two years and then two assets. Okay. <laughs> so we have to do A and B at the age of them. And I'm in space. It should be four, four, four destiny. Okay. No, no, no. The, we can add the assets together. For the depreciation there, we, we don't have to classify it. Oh, okay. So just add them together. 22, 22. Plus 22, 40. 54, 400. Okay, so for 2013, 54, 400. For 2014, what do we have? 32 and 26. Yeah. That's 58,000. 58,000. 
Now remember, this loss, this devaluation loss and gain was recognized in 2012. In the yeah. Then what else happened? Loss on disposal. The disposal with it. So loss on disposal. Not, not uh, that's in 20 what? 2014. How much? Eight Eight thousand. Thousand. Now they are all cost items, so I won't put them in brackets. Okay? So that is what comes to the income statement. Then let's go to the statement of financial position experts. Also 2013 and then 2014. So under non-current assets, property, plants and equipment, how much do we have? The 2013. These two. Okay. You got a concern? Eight um, plus eight and nine six hundred. Two one seven six hundred. Two one seven six hundred. Six hundred. Twenty fourteen, no, we sold as a V. So it's no more. Right? Yes. But as it is no, yes. it's there. So ninety six thousand. And you've done some transfers so far, and there is a revaluation surplus also that must come. So we go to equity. And under equity, we have retained earnings. For 2013, 6400. 2014, 6400. Are you getting it? Yes. Then um, we said. In 2013, so re, uh, revaluation surplus. surplus. In, the, in 2013, no, revaluation surplus never came out. So do only one for me. Okay. Do you get the idea for 2013? 25, 6, 7. 25, 6, 7. Then for 2014, no, you say I can't. 19, 19, 200. But like I said, in 2014, it will be, this 19200 will be reclassified as undistributable uh, reserves mm -hmm. because they can no more distribute it the way they are doing the annual transfer into a thing. So this is the way things for this question. Okay. Is it tough? No, no, no. I think you need to be very careful. Very, very careful. Yes. That's very important. Yes. I think one thing about um, PPE is you have to be very careful. You know that? Oh, yeah. 